<sighs> so, the other car is in the damn shop. They're talking about, uh, they're talking about fucking, uh, rear suspension and, uh, front axle alignment. They're talking, uh, wheels and shit. It's like, don't, don't tell me fucking axles and shit and tell me that I gotta fucking change this out, change that out. What the fuck does the rear axle have to do with the goddamn uh, uh, backup camera? The fuck's that got to do with anything? What the hell's that got to do with the, the idle speed of the damn engine? But uh, well, I, I'm looking. Uh, I was I was looking online, and I'm trying to find I'm trying to find other, like other vehicles. And I'm looking at, at all, all this stuff for them, trying to help them out, trying to find something, uh, you know, something to, to get, you know, change-wise. And I can't find shit. And what I do find, what I do find, there's no price. Everything is, uh, call for a price, uh, come in for a price, get an estimate, get a quote, call for a quote. Seriously. The, my biggest pet peeve is places that don't list prices. You have absolutely no prices. I know your whole idea, I know the whole idea behind it is, oh, if I put no information whatsoever on my website, people are going to come in to ask me questions. No. No. People are not going to come in and ask you questions because they're, you, they're going to be annoyed by you. Nobody wants to sit there and make 200 fucking phone calls just to find out the price of something. Just put it on your fucking website. You have a goddamn website and all you do is post a little snippet of information and then say, call us for more info. You have a fucking website. You have a website for a damn reason. Like, all the dealerships here, every, every single dealership on this entire stretch they all do the same damn thing. Uh, I think I think four or five of them have the same web design. I mean, all the web designs are identical. And every single one of them is call for a quote, call for a quote. If the vehicle is over $20,000, they leave the they put the price on. If it's under $20,000, it's call for a quote. <laughs> And it's so annoying. You know, just put the fucking price on there. Just do it. I mean, shit. It fucking annoys the hell out of me. Like, I was... I was looking at all kinds of things. And that, that, got, that got me pissed off. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to look at other things. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a little research on, on some other things that I'm looking for. And that's to, to get uh, contacts again. You know... It, I, I lapsed on my, my contacts, so I gotta I gotta go back in get another uh, test done. And I was looking online, and I was like, okay, the, there's other places in town now that I, I could possibly book an appointment online. All the places that they, they have all these these uh, websites and shit, but they don't list their prices. They don't list what they do. They don't list anything. They just, it's just a, a, a cut and paste, super simple web design. Hi, we're optometrists. We do uh, testing on your eyes to, to see where, where your prescription is. And then we sell you a prescription. Well, what else, what do you do? What's the cost? How do I get it? Just call us or send us an email. It's so bland. Uh, the uh, Colorado uh, River, uh, whatever the fuck it is, over in the Walmart parking lot. Their entire website is four paragraphs, and then their their address and contact information. That's all it is. It's four fucking paragraphs, and that explains everything. But it doesn't give prices. It doesn't tell 
uh, who, what insurance you go through. It covers nothing important. It just, it's just, here's our contact information. Call us or, or, or come by. It's, uh, it, I fucking hate it. I hate it with a passion. Uh, and another, th another thing fucking pisses me off. I go to these dealerships that, that don't have websites. I mean, seriously, what kind of dealership doesn't have a website? I go to the dealership that doesn't have a website and they don't have prices on their cars. It's just, oh, you want to know the price of this? Hold on, let me go inside and take a look. Uh, why don't you just put the price? Oh, well, that, then, you know, see, the whole thing with them is if, if they don't put any information on the, on the cars, if there's absolutely no information, it forces you to go and talk to an employee. And that's where they try to hook you into selling shit. But the issue is nobody wants to talk to an employee. I don't want to know all the all the shit that, that that to deal with. I mean, I don't I don't want to know that. I mean, you put a, a fucking sticker on, on the car that gives all the cars information and details. The website has all the cars information and details. But your dumb ass doesn't want to put the price on there because, you know, you want to, somebody to talk to you about it. What more information do I got to get? What, what, what other information is there that I possibly need? Oh, that's right. The fucking price. God damn it. Drives me nuts. And then another thing. Another thing that fucking pisses me off. Another thing that like it seriously pisses me off is motorcycle companies don't give a shit about anybody except for the standard, the standard motorcyclist. Did you know? Did you know that the most <laughs> the most recent study has showed that it on an average on an average. Nine out of ten people would buy motorcycles if they were automatic. You're literally pushing away all of these people because an automatic motorcycle isn't something that, that you would do. Oh, well, it's just not the normal thing. If you want an automatic, get yourself a scooter. I don't want a scooter. I want a fucking Honda CBR 1000. But I can't... I can't... Uh, I can't drive stick the I can't do the gears. Uh, I've I've got I've got damage in my hand. I can drive I can drive the, the truck fine because my leg is locked in a specific uh, area and I just I can't I can't switch gears. See, people think that uh, when you're when you're handicapped and shit that uh, it, it's it's gonna be visible. Uh, squeeze, if I squeeze this hand, my left leg doesn't work, which means I can't shift gears. Oh, well, you can always get a suicide shifter. Okay, so now, I, I, now I'm down to two things, one hand and one leg. That's all I can control the vehicle with. Uh, whose bright idea is that? I mean, you've got, you've got motorcycles and they're not inclusive of anybody. It is strictly standard people. You know what the you know what it costs to put on those the little wheelie kickstands? Uh, like when you stop the motorcycle, they drop down, and then it holds you up. You know how much that shit costs? Between seven and thirteen thousand, just to put that shit on there. To change a like a regular motorcycle to an automatic. It costs like seven thousand dollars because you have to like rework the entire fucking car or the entire fucking motorcycle just to get all the shit out that doesn't need to be there and then put the new shit in. That pisses me off because you know I'd I'd be out there right now on a fucking crotch rocket if it was automatic. I'd be out there right now on a Harley if there was an automatic. 
You know what they sell that's automatic? A fucking moped that looks like a crotch rocket. But it tops, the top speed on it is 35 miles an hour. The fuck fun is that? You know what else they sell that's, that's automatic? Fucking standard scooters. How, how do you... They, they go, well, there's, there's uh, uh, touring scooters too. I don't want a fucking touring scooter. I, I want to sit there on a 1,000cc Honda CBR fucking crotch rocket and rev that bitch. But I can't because they don't make automatics. Hell, you I can get I can go down and get a 1500cc ATV. Beast of a bastard. It's automatic. And it's not, it's not like a automatic like uh, like a car, you know, you fucking pop it and get, no, it like you it you you drop it into fucking gear and you go. You got your neutral, your drive, your your low and high and and, and shit. And then some of them have reverse. Why can't they do that same shit on a goddamn motorcycle? Well, you got you got to have a specific thing, you know, dropping gears when you're dri riding a motorcycle, it's just so much better. You know what? You're cutting out a shit ton of fucking people just because the standard person can actually shift gears. I had a I had a, a guy, he made some comments and he basically he basically said that people that are handicapped don't deserve to ride motorcycles because they're not good enough. They're not good enough. He's like if you if you have any kind of handicap, you don't you don't belong on a bike. Excuse me. I've got a I, I got a guy that I, that I know, paralyzed from the fucking waist down. He rides his fucking motorcycle. You know what, you know what he paid for the motorcycle? Twenty two thousand dollars. You know what he, he paid to have the motorcycle modified so he could actually ride it? Another fifteen thousand dollars. And that's fucking ridiculous. He had to put the, the drop-down wheels on and change the transmission out to be uh, the clutchless automatic fucking transmission. He, anybody with any handicap would love to ride a motorcycle, but you can't because the companies don't think about them. They, they really don't. And it really, it really pisses me off to see all that shit. And then you go to all these fucking websites and you can't look anything up because nobody puts fucking prices on shit. It fucking annoys me. It really does. And I'm sick of it. You know, I just, I just want to, sh I just want to shop. I just want to price compare. I don't want to make a thousand phone calls just to see if I get, I'm getting the right shit. Just people pay attention. God damn. Fix your stuff. Nobody wants to talk to you. Uh, back to what I was saying before I, I had to step inside. But, as I was saying, I'm so sick of, you know, all these companies, you know, motorcycle companies, they only make motorcycles uh, manual. You know, you gotta do. You gotta shift your gears. You gotta do this. You gotta do that. You know, there are a lot. I mean, a lot of fucking people that would be buying bikes all the time if they were automatic. Uh, there's there's a a couple out there that are electric bikes that are. Uh, automatic but they cost more and they don't last as long you know and you know, some people well you know batteries they last a lot longer no after after 10 years you have to replace your entire battery system and it costs it costs about half the price of, of a new bike I mean 
that's, that's just how it is. But all these companies, if they were, if the Honda, Kawasaki, uh, Yamaha, if, if these companies decided one day to do automatic transmissions on like a bunch of their bikes, hell, even start off, start off with like one of your biggest selling models and do an automatic version of it and you're going to sell a shit ton. Uh, trust me, you will sell a boatload if, uh, if you, um, if you did the automatic version. Trust me. If, if, uh, if you take like like Honda CBRs, the CBR 1000, if you take that bike and slap an automatic transmission on it, you will sell a ton of them. If you take like your your the uh, the Harley Davidson, the, the the Harley that uh, uh, oh what is it? Uh, it's like not the Roadster, but. Uh, it, it's like a low, lower to the ground cruising type bike, you know. It's bobbed out a little bit. If you take that and slap on an automatic transmission to it, you'll open up a whole new, a whole new thing for people. Yeah, I mean, Honda already has uh, the Africa Twin. It's a, it's a, it's a DT. Honda Africa Twin, it's uh, automatic, but it's dual terrain, it looks like a dirt bike, but it has street wheels on it. Not everybody's into that. And I, I want I want that nice, you know, Harley look, or a crotch rocket look. If I want to be on a dirt bike, I'd be on a dirt bike. I mean, even then, you know, a dirt bike, Around here, I'd need blinkers, headlight, tail light, and a license plate holder with a light on a horn for it to be street legal. If you put all that stuff on a dirt bike, it's 100% street legal here. But seriously, throw on an automatic transmission on, on your biggest selling motorcycle and you'll increase your sales buy a lot I mean help if, if a motorcycle company were to post something online about uh, wanting to or putting out like a, a an automatic version you'll get hit by a lot like a lot of people are you, sure, you'll have a bunch of people on there. Well, you know, if you can't ride, if you can't switch gears, then you shouldn't be riding. Uh, so your whole thing is, is you have to have a perfectly functioning body in order to do any of the stuff that, for anybody to enjoy the stuff that you enjoy. I'm not allowed to enjoy it because I can't function both my both uh, left limbs at the same time. I shouldn't I shouldn't be allowed to to do that because you know I'm different it's bullshit saying something like that is, is you know not only is it hateful but it's also hurtful it's hurtful for a whole bunch of people and it's unnecessary and that, I'm just gonna leave it at that you know be all-inclusive with your shit all inclusive that's all you need to do